This is Jupiter Today for the 8th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. I'm introducing a new format today. I'm going to give it a try for a little while, see how it goes. I would appreciate any comments on those who have been listening for a while to see if you like the new slightly changed format. So here we go. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west, coming up on its western elongation. Europa starts the day transiting, going to be moving into quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede starts the day in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant one, also heading east. At 103 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. At 6 hours UTC, Eo is now firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. Ganymede is coming up on its eastern elongation and is going to be moving into quadrant 2, heading west. From 615 to 620 UTC, Europa Colts EO. It's a 5.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.131 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.545 magnitudes. And it's a good distance away from Jupiter, 93.33 arc seconds. And then from 720 to 727 UTC, Europa eclipses EO. It's a 6.5 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.198 arc seconds and a nice deep magnitude drop of 0.77 magnitudes. And again, it's a good distance away from Jupiter, 82.03 arc seconds, and Europa and Eo are 25.76 arc seconds apart. At 8.09 UTC, Eo goes through an apogee. That's the furthest distance it's going to be from Jupiter. That's 423,539 kilometers. And then from 926 to 949 UTC, Ganymede occults Callisto. And that's a 23.3 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.293 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.231 magnitudes. And it's 308.45 arc seconds from Jupiter. At 12 hours UTC, EO is now in quadrant 4, heading east, going to be moving behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view. This blue line is the line of sight to the Earth, and this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. At 1237 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter, and at 1537 EO reappears from Jupiter's shadow. And from 1537 to 1602 UTC, Ganymede eclipses Callisto. It's a 25.2 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.31 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.337 magnitudes. And Callisto is going to be 352.94 arc seconds from Jupiter. And Ganymede and Callisto are 66.23 arc seconds apart. By 18 hours UTC, EO has successfully moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is at its western elongation and is gonna be moving into quadrant four, heading east. And at zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is at its eastern elongation, gonna be moving into quadrant two, heading west. And Europa is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's the connection between Eo and Europa, Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, 
Europa and Callisto. And finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And I colorize them and... We get that for today. I can also rotate this around and look for other interesting patterns. And I did that in this case today. And I saw that today, which looked pretty neat. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter. Looking out and seeing what's going to be happening in Jupiter's environment for the next 24 hours. It's always a very busy place. Here goes Eo into Jupiter's shadow. All right, pops back in. Must be amazing to see those smaller moons pass in front of the larger moons. And the red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. The first at 7.11 UTC and the second at 17.07 UTC. And there were some new images posted today. And there was some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So it's zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, six minutes, 44.2 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 35 minutes, 25.1 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the sun is 147.038 degrees, and that's 1.095 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 5.804 degrees, and that's 0.174 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today at zero hours UTC is 670,382,785 kilometers. And that's 1,292,111 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 53,837.96 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,604.58 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799 million. 25,544 kilometers, and that's 45,164 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,881.83 kilometers per hour, and that's 4.04 .04 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. Central Meridian at zero hours UTC. CM1, 46.01 degrees, CM2, 197.92 degrees, CM3, 114.22 degrees. Time of this recording is 23.37 UTC on the 7th of March, 2015. So please subscribe 
and thank you to those who are subscribing. You can send your comments and questions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.